Hey, it's your boy NG Gavin. In this video, we're going to talk about the rule of thirds. And it's really important that you understand this in your Amazon business because if you don't get this fundamental rule right, then you're going to go broke. So let's get into it. So we're going to imagine that this is your whole pie that you're going to uh, follow, okay? So basically we want to divide this up into thirds, all right? So we've got down like here, one third and one third, okay? So this is your, first of all, we've got your uh, cost of goods landed. So the cost of goods landed is basically, you know, provided that you've done your research on Amazon, you've found a, uh, you know, a niche that's uh, profitable, you found a product, you've done your research, you, you know, gone out and sourced a product that is different, differentiated, blah, 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 blah. Now you've gone out and got the product and you found that the cost of goods and landed to Amazon um, is basically, to keep it simple, one dollar. Okay. So that so with that said, now that we know that it's one dollar to get this goods and land it to Amazon, Amazon's basically going to take out thirty three percent. Okay. So when you when you sell stuff. You know, if you've been on Amazon for, for a while, you know that this is approximately, you know, by the time they take their fees uh, and they take their, um, you know, to process the goods and all that sort of stuff, it's about 33% of the price that you sell it for, okay? So that's why this is really important. So that's also going to cost another dollar. And then here, you've got a dollar which is your profit. That's your profit before tax. And this is a... Amazon fees, okay? So now that you know this, right, that means you've got to sell this product for $3. If you can't sell this product for three dollars on Amazon, then you're going to lose money. That's about as simple as I can put it. So you've got to you got to do your research first of all. If you're bringing in you know a let's say a jade roller, obviously it's not what you want to bring in, but just say there's a jade roller, and the average price that is selling on Amazon is say three dollars. You want to get it to Amazon landed for a dollar. So that means you might have to buy for say, I don't know, 50 cents, then probably another 50 cents to transport it if you're gonna do bulk, bulk in goods. Then you're gonna to have to allot $1 for the Amazon fees, and that's your profit. So that's basically how you do it. If you don't follow this rule, you're gonna go broke. So the challenge is to find products that you can basically buy for $1 landed and sell for three dollars. So this equation could be anything. It doesn't have to be one dollar. Obviously, you know, it could be five dollars. It could be ten dollars. If the product is uh, say five dollars, you got to be able to sell it on Amazon for thirty because five dollars. Then you basically double that for the shipping to be on the safe side. So that's ten dollars now. Then Amazon's going to take another ten dollars for the fees, and you're left with ten dollars profit before tax. So that's why you've got to sell it for $30. So $5 equates to $30. And there are also other fees that will come out of that, but this is the basic kind of, if you follow this rule, then, then you're good to go. So, um, you know, this is, this is the way I do all my uh, product research. I find how how I can get this product, how how much price I can get it, how much I land it. I then um, you know talk to the supplier, find out the price, 
find out the bulk price. Obviously, the more you order, the cheaper it's going to be. Then I figure out the cost to get it to Amazon, whether that's through them or through a shipping agent. Um, get it to Amazon, whether the, you know, if there's going to be duties, um, you have to take care of duties and taxes like GST, uh, and then um, duties on top of that. If it's a certain type of product, it'll, it could have duties on it. All right, and then you got to figure out all your costs landed. That's going to be one third. The Amazon fee is going to be another third. And then your profit is one third. If you follow this and do everything that you figure out in your calculations, again, you need to know your numbers, then you're going to be good. If, you, if you're buying something for $5 and you need to sell it for $30, but you can't sell it for $30 because they're all selling for $15 on Amazon, you're going to go broke. Don't even bother. If, if it doesn't fit this one third rule, just walk away and go to the next product. There's thousands, there's millions of products that you can potentially get. And this is the biggest mistake I see newbies make. They don't do their numbers properly. They don't know their numbers. They don't know the fees involved. You know, they, they just have no clue. And then they just get into a market that's too competitive. Everyone's just going to the lowest price and they don't make any money. And they don't follow this rule to begin with or they don't even know the rule. So now that you understand the rule, everything that you research has to go by this. All right, so if there's any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll, um, I'll try to break this down for you uh, uh, if you, there's any more details that you want to know. Just leave a comment and I'll answer them. But I think you get the basic idea, right? $1 for the cost, $1 for the product, landed. And that means you're probably going to buy for 50 cents, another 50 cents to land it. $1 is going to go to Amazon, $1 profit for tax. You've got to sell for $3. If you cannot do that, walk away. Alright, leave comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later guys.